back to the show. Back in November, when millions of people who knew better voted a mercurial, dunderheaded real estate agent into the White House, this promise helped them sleep at night. We're going to be using our best people. I know the smartest, the sharpest, the greatest minds. I have all of them. I have the best in the world. You do? Where? Are they behind all those motherfuckers? Hey, okay, you know what? Let's meet another one of those best people. White House counterterrorism expert and treasurer of the Steven Seagal fan club, Sebastian Lukacs, lowercase v, Gorka. No, his first name is not suing his last name. We'll get to that later. Gorka's got a cruise ship magician's facial hair and the president's ear. He's very uh, highly placed in the administration. And I can tell you, you can go back and look at some things that he's said on television, and Donald Trump repeats those phrases yes. uh, the he next is a Trump day. whisperer. And he whispers to Trump the usual way by going on Hannity and shouting talking points. It's ironic, isn't it, that, that the last administration that saw Secretary Clinton approve the sale of 20% of our uranium to Russia. We had Hillary Clinton give Russia 20% of the uranium in our country. Lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Nobody talks about that. Gorka does! 15 hours ago on the TV you said to Fox News before you broke the remote by throwing it at Sean Spicer's head. So who is Sebastian lowercase v Gorka and how the heck did he get promoted from Breitbart panic blogger to presidential national security advisor? He is both a self-proclaimed counterterrorism expert and an anti SJW alpha male. That is not fair. How do you know he self-identifies as an alpha male? The era of the pajama boy is over January 20th and the alpha males are back. Says the guy who likes to go on TV in his ninja jammies. Gorka's menacing 4chan rhetoric would scare the crap out of me if alpha males overtake pajama boy didn't sound like the world's silliest gay porno. <laughs> Not that Gorka is into gay porn. The pictures he masturbates to are way darker. I'm going to start with something a tad naughty. We can win now. We can win. Oh, a dead human being. How cheeky. Oh, behave. Seriously, behave, because that is fucking sick. If Gorka's naughty bloodlust puts you off your food, then you are not Steve Ducey. He is a leading authority on topics like national security and terrorism, but today he's an expert in your taste buds. Today we are cooking with the Gorkas. You're gonna brown the uh, onions in some oil, or you can use, you know, if you're a naughty boy, some Crisco. So got, naughty boy? Yeah. I like Crisco. So do I. Sorry, naughty boy. We don't need to import a racist who cooks unhealthy food. That job is already taken. I am not a counterterrorism expert, but people who are think Gorka is full of shit. Look how Professor Mia Bloom reacts to Gorka's intro on Fox News. Joining me now, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, who provides counterterrorism training to the FBI and Special Forces. He serves as the Major General Matthew C. Horner Distinguished Chair of Military Theory at Marine Corps University. Dang, that is cold. Things are going to be awkward at the next counterterrorism expert prom. Despite Gorka's insistence that everyone call him doctor, which is the universal mark of a real, non-fraudulent, intellectual smart person, it turns out Dr. Gorka has published as many papers in peer-reviewed academic journals as Dr. McStuffins. Zero. <laughs> Gorka bought, I'm sorry, earned his doctorate nine years ago from Corvinus University of Budapest with a poorly sourced dissertation featuring insightful diagrams like this one, in which the oval labeled terrorism represents terrorism and the question marks represent the question, how the fuck did this guy get a job in the White House? Pro tip, Sebastian, if you want to get Trump's attention with diagrams, you have to make them look like boobs. <laughs> Trump's ISIS expert has never lived in a Muslim-majority country, and since he doesn't speak or read Arabic, he won't be insulted by this. 
Shalom. <laughs> For his thesis, Gorka read the Quran in English and some secondary sources and watched Charlie Wilson's War, which makes you an authority on Islam in much the way that watching a Chinese bootleg of Rogue One makes you an astronaut. <laughs> but Gorka's lack of scholarship didn't stop him from going on Fox News every time they needed someone to whip up panic over Islamic Jihad. This is part of the global jihadi strategy. It's not an accident, it is war against America. So after 9-11, all Americans should have a Quran, which says, after the holy months are past, hunt down the infidel, besiege them with every stratagem of war, unless they convert, kill them. In the last 15 years, uh, we haven't seen an Episcopalian suicide bomber. We haven't seen Zoroastrian mass murderers. We've seen Muslim extremists. And those Muslims are cagey. Most people don't even know that Dylan Roof and Timothy McVeigh attended the same madrasa as Obama. <laughs> and by the way, what the fuck is up with the accent, Jean-Claude Van Damme? You were born and raised in London. Are you auditioning to play the villain in a Bond movie? Or did you pick that up when you moved to Hungary at the impressionable age of 22? And you know, speaking of Hungary, members of the Hungarian far-right nationalist movement were super psyched when Gorka celebrated inauguration night by going on Fox News wearing the regalia of the Hungarian Order of Vitez, which the State Department lists as a Nazi-linked group. Gorka claims he never swore allegiance to the Vitez group, whose members adopt a lowercase v as a middle initial. Hey, what a coincidence! Although it could be he just likes embellishing his name with random bullshit letters that he hasn't really earned. But you know what? I don't really even give a crap about Gorka's right-wing bling. This is not playtime now. Shit is real. And the White House needs real counterterrorism experts, not a poor man Stewie Griffin whose extremist nonsense could get people killed because our president thinks this sounds smart. We find ourselves in a Python-esque Alice in Wonderland where we're doing something, but in fact we're not doing it, where we're half pregnant if that's at all possible. To quote Alice in Wonderland, eat me. <laughs> we'll be right back.